When a shareholder tries to take control of a company by getting enough votes to force management to do something, we call this a proxy fight. And it's called a proxy fight because the shareholders who can't attend the annual meeting for the company, they can vote by proxy. And proxy is a couple of things. It could be that you send in a thing called a proxy card, where basically you get this thing in the mail, you fill it out and say, here's how I want to vote. And then you mail it back to the company, or it could in some cases be done online. Basically, you are not going to the, the annual meeting to be able to vote, but you still are voting by proxy. So the shareholder or group of shareholders that is trying to get control and, and force the company to make some changes, what they're trying to do is collect enough proxies, basically trying to get enough votes, get enough votes to be able to force through whatever it is they want. Maybe it is that they are trying to defeat a management proposal. Okay. It could also be that they're trying to get rid of some members of the board of directors. So typically what will happen is this: the company itself will propose and say, okay, look, we want these 12 people. These are the people we are recommending that you as shareholders vote for. Uh, we're putting them forward and say that they should be the board of directors. Now, basically, if you are an activist a shareholder, you can come in and say, listen, I don't want these 12, I'm going to propose a different 12 people or a different group of people and say that shareholders should vote for them. They should vote against what management is proposing and they should take th these different members and put them on the board. And you say, well, why would this activist investor, why would they want to get people off the board of directors? Well, when you control the board of directors, so if you can get your own group of 12 people on the board of directors, what you can do is that board can fire management. They can fire the CEO and so forth. So if you are wanting the company to go along with an acquisition and the existing management and board is fighting that, you say, well, look, let's let you go to the other shareholders. Maybe you run an ad in the Wall Street Journal. You contact them. You, you, you hire a company called a proxy solicitation firm. You basically go and you contact all the shareholders and you say, listen, management is really screwing up here, right? They're screwing us over, we're losing money. What we gotta do is we gotta get rid of the people they're proposing to be on the, we gotta unseat the board and here are these new people we can put forward and they will go and fire the CEO and maybe they'll get rid of, let's, let's say that the company has a poison pill. Okay, a poison pill is an anti-takeover mechanism. So we say, you know what, we're gonna get rid of that. We're gonna get rid of management if we're going to make sure that this merger happens because you're going to make more money. So that's what basically a proxy fight uh, can be about. It doesn't have to be always about a takeover. It could be maybe you're trying to reduce management's compensation. Maybe there was some kind of proposal to increase management's compensation. You're trying to fight that. So a real life example, William Ackman and this hedge fund uh, were, uh, that he started, Pershing Square Capital Management, they started a proxy fight with a retailer, Target. Okay, and so basically what happened, Ackman wanted a number of changes. And one of the things was the real estate. So Target's retail stores, they sit on top of land. And basically he wanted that land to be spun off into a real estate investment trust. Okay, and Target didn't want to do it. They didn't think it was a good idea. So Ackman said, okay, well, what I'll do is I'll just propose my own slate of directors that they get elected to Target's board. And he's trying to get control of the board so he can get these changes to actually take place. And unfortunately for Ackman, uh, his directors did not get elected. Tar Target's board uh, members were elected. So the management won in that case. Okay, so when proxy fights are more likely to succeed, if the company has been doing very poorly, if the company's incurring large losses, then it's easier to make the case to other shareholders that, hey, we need change, right? Management is really screwing up and you need to come over. I, I've got a good idea. I've got a good alternative here that, you know, and the other shareholders say, hey, I like this. I like that we should go with this merger or we should go and do, okay, we'll do this uh, real estate investment trust spin off the land, okay? Now, another thing is if the company's management, so if you're trying to force the company to do something, you're trying to get enough proxies, but let's say the company's management, the company's CEO owns like 40% of the voting stock of that firm, then that's going to be harder to do a proxy fight because management is against you, right? You're trying to force them to do something they don't want to do. Management is against you. And if they control 40% of the shares, 
then that's a lot fewer shares that are available that they're shareholders that you could go and convince right if if management own nothing if they own no shares at all then you could go to any of those potential shareholders but clearly this 40 percent if they own 40 percent you're not going to be able to convince management management is already against you then you've only got the remaining 60 percent of the shares outstanding and it, there's always the difficulty of convincing people to like go against management and go with your plan now Sometimes you'll see, I mentioned proxy fights with takeovers, and sometimes you'll see a proxy fight coupled with a tender offer. So basically a company says, all right, look, here's a tender offer. Uh, we we are offering to acquire company X for $38 a share uh, cash. So there's our tender offer. But maybe the company that they're making this tender offer for, uh, they have a poison pill. So that could prevent them from being able to do the takeover. So what they do is they say, okay, well, here's a tender offer, $38 a share. But then they, at the same time, start a proxy fight to try and get rid of this poison pill. 